Today's video is Sebastian's seven month update and technically he is seven and a half months but I'm filming it now because I realized when he was exactly seven months it had only been two weeks since I did his six month update so I've decided I'm just going to do these on the half mark in between like the next month and the current month so that I have a little bit more to share with you all. I'm just going to leave him sitting here there's toys on the floor for him to play just like last time, we'll see how long this lasts, and if he does well, he can stay, and if not, I'll take him out to go sit with Daddy. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Sebastian is currently 18 pounds. He still only has two bottom teeth, and I thought his top two teeth were coming in. He mm. looked like he was going through the teething signs again, but then nothing, so who knows? We may see some top teeth before his first birthday in August, and we may not. Just like before, Bash is still in size 3 Pampers diapers and we have started wearing overnights which are the 12 hour Pampers as well and he's I believe a size 3 in those. I, I don't think I've ever looked at the size my husband bought them. But either way, he is a size 3 in Pampers diapers. For clothing, Bash is actually still wearing 6 month size and to me he's a big baby but he has always stayed pretty true to the clothing size for his age. So. If it says six to nine, more than likely it's going to be a little bit loose on him, which is crazy because I know that there are babies who, you know, are the same weight as him who are wearing 12 months. But for some reason, as far as how his clothing fits, he is usually like right at where, right at the age that, you know, the size of the clothes are right at the age that he is. And um, yeah, pretty much just six months only though, because they don't really make like seven month clothes. His eyes are still dark brown, his hair is still dark brown, I don't think those are ever going to change. And his hair is really soft and curly, and we get a lot of questions about what we use in his hair. I will link it below, and it's um, a detangler and like, um, a, like a buttercream is what they call it by Shea Moisture, and it smells divine. I will post um, the links below for you guys. First topic I want to discuss is like food and drinks. The biggest blessing has happened since his last update he has started taking a bottle and i figured out what we were doing wrong i think other than the fact that he just got older and decided that i guess the preference didn't matter what i didn't realize was we were still trying to use on all the different bottle ranges we, that we bought we were still trying to use the like the can mommy have this thank you we were still trying to use the level one flow so that would be like a newborn flow and I realized you know he he isn't a newborn anymore like why were we trying to force these one level ones on him the flow is probably too um slow and that's why he didn't like the bottle so I had heard a bunch of great things about Tommy Tippy, and we decided to go ahead and try it and we had it already but we decided to try that particular brand with the nipple flow for his age and it worked immediately i have a stain on my shirt already mom life again anyway um if you saw my his last update he spit up in my hand so anyway the level three um worked perfectly and he started taking the bottle immediately because the bottle is still so new for him he does not take a full i think for his age they should be doing like six to eight ounces or something like that he does not take a full six to eight ounces from the bottle but that's fine with me because just getting him to learn how to use it you know in the first place is just a blessing in itself also i am still breastfeeding so i don't necessarily need him to take it off from the bottle because i know that he's getting enough if not more than enough from me. A couple weeks ago, I wanted to start working out and eating a little bit better and just starting to try to get that body I used to have back and uh, my milk supply took a hit because I wasn't taking in as many calories as I should have been with breastfeeding and that's totally my fault. And so I have started supplementing with formula. I still have my supply, but I just wanna make sure that I, there, he's never hungry 
Um, especially, you know, because it was my fault that I, you know, my supply went down. So we are supplementing with formula and we are using Earth's Best. I'll also link that below if you guys are interested. We love it. My cousin had a really hard time trying to wean her baby when she turned a year and she said they tried a bunch of different formulas and Earth's Best was the one that her daughter took. So we went ahead and tried that one and it worked just fine. He loves it. And um, they say it's like, I think their their packaging says something like it's the closest one to to breast milk. I don't know how they know that or um, I guess maybe consistency wise. I don't know because everyone's breast milk I, I would assume is a little bit different. Either way, it's the closest thing that they say is out there to breast milk. So we got it and it worked. We also started trying to introduce a sippy cup and we are using the Nook brand. I believe it's just spelled N-U-K. And I heard that that was a great sippy cup for um, babies to transition from the bottle um, to. So we did um, go ahead and purchase that. And um, he isn't the best with it, but he's doing okay. Like he'll sip from it and then he usually just likes to bite on it. But um, but he does learn, he is sipping from it, which is great because not too long from now we will be cutting um, the breastfeeding out and slowly transitioning into solely using, you know, sippy cups from the bottle. We usually just offer the sippy cup when he's eating and I put water in it. Sometimes I'll put prune juice in it at the recommendation of his pediatrician. He did and still does have horrible constipation since we've introduced the purees. And so... You never want to give baby juice unless your pediatrician tells you to and from what we were told he can have up to as many ounces of prune juice for his age. So if he's one month he could have one ounce. So now that he is um, seven and a half months technically I guess we could give him seven and a half ounces however we just give him about four because um, he never finishes it and also the bottles are tiny mini bottles of prune juice for babies and it doesn't come in more than four ounces like I said he never finishes it anyway so we really don't want to give him you know more than that because it's just a waste at that point point. and as far as water in his sippy cup we are giving little sips of water if he's not really sipping it great through the cap I will take it off and just kind of pour it into his mouth and he's done great with it my mom told me one time that babies sometimes like kind of strangle on water when you give it to him the first time and she said a friend of hers even asked her if he had been you know strangling on water or anything and he's never had that problem comment below if you've ever had that happen to your baby or if you know that that happens to babies like when they have their first sips of water like not formula or not breast milk but like water if they like had a, like, a little choking fit like i'm so curious about that because i'd never heard that till she said it and like i said he didn't do it but i wanted to say it to y'all just in case you know it happens while you're giving your babies water and you start freaking out I guess it's very normal he is doing 100% purees only except we are doing puffs now and like rice rusks I'll link the type of rice rusks it's basically like a stick that dissolves in your mouth like a puff but it's a little bit bigger and he can hold it in his hands and still I break it just in case but um it dissolves in their mouth but I'll link the kind that we're using and as far as purees we are using the Earth's Best. I wanted to make his baby food and I still think I plan to unless he just stops and starts rejecting purees and wants something a little bit more solid. Um, I just don't have the time and, and I really wanted to make his baby food but like I said in the last update like fed any way possible as far as whether you make it yourself or buy it from the store is the best uh, as long as he's eating or she if she's you have a daughter as long as they're eating it does not matter but the purees God bless you honey purees that he's had so far and I'm gonna read them to you because some of y'all have asked what we've given him and I don't want to forget one um, the purees that he has had so far are prunes, prunes and oatmeal, apples, carrots, pears, peaches, green beans, peas, sweet potatoes, mangoes and banana, and chicken and rice, and winter, winter squash. Going back to what I said a couple minutes ago, we did um, introduce solids and he got horribly constipated and we did end up giving him a suppository I think two days ago and it cleaned him out and so what we were told was you know we just probably need to offer him a little bit more water with his meal or prune juice hopefully that works and I feel so bad for him because I don't know when this is ever gonna go away or if it's gonna stop but I mean I'm assuming it will but hopefully we won't have to give him another suppository because it just was awful 
On to a more happier topic. He has finally started saying words, and he only has two words, but they're words nonetheless. His very first word was hi. He won't say it first, but he'll say it when you say it to him, and not every time, but if you go like, hi, hi, he'll go, hi, hi. It's so cute, and he's been doing that probably, I don't know, he's been doing it for a couple weeks now. But then, the end of this past week, um, he started saying dada. And I wanted him to say mama so bad first, but everyone told me that, you know, dad, dad is easier to say. And that was the word that was going to come first. And of course he said it first. And, um, he had been saying like, dee, 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 that kind of sound since last month, but it was never like a dad, dad. But when I heard him start saying dee, 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 I knew that the dad wasn't going to be, you know, too far behind only because he had the d sound down at that point so now he's gotten the the a sound with it the dad dad and he doesn't stop so i'm just waiting for the day when he starts saying mama i like whisper it in his ear when he's sleeping i'm like say mama 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 hoping that like he'll take it in while he's dreaming and then you know wake up and go mama you know when i walk in it's a total fantasy i know he's never gonna do it just like that but it would be nice. As far as motor skills are concerned, he has like done leaps and bounds from last month. So now he is 100% totally sitting up on his own, like unassisted for, you know, long extended periods of time. He can get up on his bottom from his belly um, on his own. He can roll around, do all the things like now, those basic things that they kind of pick up over like, I guess from month four to six, he's got all that down packed. And now he's added crawling to that. This was one thing I posted on my Instagram. He pulled up in the playroom and he will pull up if, you know, sitting like this, if I had him facing me, he'd start pulling up on my legs. He'll pull up on, you know, this ottoman right here. He started pulling up in his crib last week and he lowered it immediately that night. That was just like a major thing for us, him standing up. And I hope that this means that he'll walk early, but I mean, you just never know. Thought you pooped there for a second. I feel like he's finally learning, finally learning affection. And he is a very affectionate little baby. Like he loves to be held. He loves to be rocked. He loves, you know, any kind of like closeness. He loves that. And so, and I'm so glad he's a cuddle baby. I wanted a cuddle baby so bad. And he, when he's sleepy, but even when he's awake, if like we're just relaxing like if it's a rainy day I can just kind of lay back with him on the couch or in my bed and hold him and he'll just sit with me he doesn't have to necessarily be all over the place at all times you're gonna teeth on my pearls these were a wedding gift as far as his personality is concerned he is a total charmer he knows if you are talking about him if you're looking at him and so like if i take him out to the store usually we do get stopped once or twice because he's smiling and cutting his eye at somebody and they're always like look at him flirting with me and he loves to you know give him a look and then bury his face into my chest and then you know pop his head back up and look at him again he loves doing that he's a little flirt and um, with those two little teeth showing it's the cutest thing and I think that just kind of goes back to the affection like he just loves you know people like fawning all over him another thing that the pediatrician told me would probably start happening around um, six or seven months and it did was separation anxiety and it's not a horrible separation anxiety but I've noticed that if he can't see me he'll cry and it's not like a hard cry it's just a kind of like a why did you leave me here by myself cry and I've noticed he does that to my husband too and so I think he's just really used to having mommy and daddy with him um, especially me because I am his you know pretty much primary caretaker during the day and so I've noticed that you know he'll cry a little bit here or there a lot of people were saying like oh we saw the Easter Bunny photos he did so good he didn't cry and I really think that as far as the Easter Bunny is concerned he just is too young to cry about that like he just doesn't realize he's even being held by a man in a bunny suit and the last thing as far as like motor skills and things like that and personality um which you wouldn't really know from watching this video because he's been all over me is he does have the ability to play independently and this is like the point i've been waiting for where i can you know set him down with his toys and he can you know go and 
do his own thing for a few minutes and it's gotten a lot easier so now like I'll edit in his playroom with him so he can play I don't always have to wait until he's asleep anymore because I can just set him down and he'll he'll play right there as long as he knows you know I'm in the room he's pretty much okay playing by himself and I've been waiting for this time for a long time because it just has allowed me to be able to get um, things done you know without having to you know hold him all the time so um, that's been a really sweet 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 thing for me and lastly this is the main question I get um, especially when I show him on my Instagram um, on the baby monitor and I will link the monitor below as well because a lot of you guys ask me about that all the time does he sleep through the night and the answer is not yet he wakes up once in the night and what we tried to do um, like I said in my last update is cut that middle of the night feeding out and we have I don't go in anymore Brandon has gone started to come in and try to console him and soothe him back to sleep on his own and it's been working and then usually he'll wake up around five starving and so I'll feed him again then and so what we kind of just have done is slowly just you know wait a little longer to go in before we go back in to get him when he wakes up and cries well we don't feed him every time he cries in the nighttime or I don't feed him every time he cries in the nighttime because um he will he's dependent upon that at this point and so we want to try to get him sleeping completely through the night because he can and he is old enough to go um, several hours without you know a meal in the nighttime and so we're working on that now a lot of you have asked how we get him to go down to sleep so easily and during the day and at night he goes down like a dream and I did nap train him when he was three months old and that consisted of me putting him on a very strict um, I don't remember what it is eat play sleep schedule and I mean I was very rigorous with it and it worked and I made a routine now it has gotten to the point where I can just turn that sound machine on and he starts getting sleepy and you know it's at the point of the day when he's supposed to be asleep but he never fights me to go down not even at bedtime and that has just been such a blessing and I can talk about that more in another video but I did that back when he was three months old and it has really made putting him down for a nap so simple and the only time I find that he ever really gives me trouble going down to sleep is when we're not at our house. So if like we're at a friend's house staying the night or my parents' house, um, that's usually when like there it's a little bit of a fight because at that point he's sleeping in the pack and play, he's not in his crib, and um, and so you know things aren't normal or you know how they're he's used to them. Even if I have the sound machine with me, it just doesn't go as smoothly. But um, if you do have questions about the nap training and just getting him or your baby to go down super easily, feel free to send me a message in here or you can leave it in the comments or on my Instagram. And I'm very active over there. I answer pretty much everything I get. And so um, as far as DMs are concerned, sometimes I can't respond to all my comments, but if you DM me, I do respond. And so um, if you have any specific questions or tips on how you know you guys have mastered getting your baby to sleep because I still am a mom just like everyone else I am NOT an authority in any way and so I want to learn from you guys as well so if you have anything you want to share on what y'all did or if you want to know what I did to get him down at least to how I get the baby got the baby to go down so simply um, just let me know in my comments or in my messages and I'll be more than willing and happy to talk to y'all and I think that's pretty much it for this update. Come here. Can you say goodbye? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video and like these updates and like seeing the baby, please give this video a thumbs up and double check that you are subscribed with your notification bell turned on. And we will see you guys in our next video. Bye.